Enjoy this photo of Kitty and its babies. Cute little babies. What's the worst piece of financial advice somebody has given you? One of my uncles once told me that I never really had to pay my phone bill. He suggested that I simply jump to another carrier and let the first company cut you off. His life has turned out exactly as you'd imagine. What happened? Don't know. He stopped calling. Bahaha, you're more right than you know. Dude declared bankruptcy, got bailed out by my grandparents, went broke again. Then people cut him off when he conned a few family members and friends into some kind of financial scheme that smelled fishy from the next province. Last I heard he was mooching off some old lady in a trailer park in Florida. These stories always end in a trailer park in Florida. Just get another credit card, my friend who hasn't worked in 3 years and is currently just vibing with his new credit cards he somehow got approved for. A friend's family taught them to take out as many store cards and credit cards as they could and as long as the minimum was paid, they'd be able to live a luxurious lifestyle. They were almost dollar sign 100k in debt when they finally told me from dozens of cards and interest, car loan, etc. Then did not want to discuss it further after I offered advice, lawyer, counseling. It's simply how their parents lived, life on credit far beyond means. I could not live with that stress. It's so normal for some people though. Credit card company seeing application, no job, multiple credit cards, spending habits, good enough. Alrighty let's make some money. Approved. I also see the reverse of this often where my friends in college were terrified of credit cards, even though they were great with money. Then they get out of college with no credit and don't realize that it's important for every aspect of life from apartments to car payments to utilities. I would spend a lot of time trying to explain why credit cards aren't necessarily the devil and if you are responsible you can start building your credit early to get the jump on it before you leave college housing. Once you cut up the credit card, you don't have to pay it. My cousin is not doing so hot. I'm pretty sure there are warrants out for his arrest in several states. I work for a bank. The amount of times I get customers tell me I just got a phone call saying I owe XX, but I cancelled my card. I tell them we never received a notice that they cancelled it. And they say, but I cut it up. Dude, if cutting bills up would solve anything, life would be great. My father would tell me to maximum my credit card on a new car, and if they asked for payments just say duck m, what are they going to do? My father is several levels of debt hell deep that he's trying to get out of now, but he's at least trying. What are they going to do? Send me to jail. But like what really happens? If you don't pay your credit card bill, expect to pay late fees, receive increased interest rates, and incur damages to your credit score. If you continue to miss payments, your card can be frozen, your debt could be sold to a collection agency and the collector of your debt could sue you and have your wages garnished. Basically they take payments from your wages, idk what happens if you don't have a job. I declare bankruptcy. These beanie babies are an investment in our future. 1997, I'm sitting in the office of my college job. An office mate's husband is visiting. He makes a phone call and starts negotiating over a price, like he's selling Manhattan real estate. Turns out he's negotiating the sale of a beanie baby with a 12 year old. After a few minutes his wife rolls her eyes and yells let the little girl have the toy. Spend it quickly or it'll get stolen. Coming from someone with a history of losing and blowing their money. Or not even stolen. Folks who've never had enough to get by comfortably have a little imp on their shoulder telling them to spend it now, or it'll just go to next month's rent and you won't get to enjoy anything nice with this cash. Can you explain the psychology behind this? I know it's really common, but I never understood it. Weren't you nervous about interest? Did you know they charge interest on credit card debt? Many people do not understand the idea of credit or credit cards. They see their parents who can't afford a thing. Swipe a plastic card and they get the thing. It must be like free money, right? The show Malcolm in the Middle has a great example of this. When Ruiz is kicked out and he seems to degrade once away from his controlling parents. Only to find out he put every expense on a credit card and was heavily in debt. When I got to university and opened a student current account, I received an interest-free overdraft of about £1,200. I wasn't entirely sure of what that meant. 
my brother informed me so that's like your new zero and encouraged me to use it to buy a new gaming PC. For the next few years I really really wish I hadn't taken that advice. He's never been too amazing with his money, so I should have seen that one coming. Unfortunately we have to learn the hard way sometimes. I maximumed out a credit card once, because I was like damn this is like never ending free money, boy did I feel dumb as duck, when my card was declined in a Megul Jr. drive through That an emergency fund wasn't necessary, when you can always get a payday alone, or use your credit card. He wasn't joking. My cousin's car broke down, and he didn't have enough savings to get it fixed, he took out a $600 payday alone. He's still paying it off. Almost two years later. How this shut is still legal baffles the duck out of me. $1000 on a credit card at 19.99% will take 26 years to pay off, if you only pay the minimum payment. 1976, San Francisco, keep renting. No one will ever pay $35,000 for a two bedroom house and garage with a sweeping view of the East Bay. Added later, I went back to visit the old neighborhood a few years ago, those $35,000 stucco homes up many flights of steps perched on the top of Potrero Hill were now all gentrified, remodeled, gated, and asking 1 million plus dollars and that was 5 years ago. Don't take a raise, if it puts you into the next tax bracket, and pay the minimum on your credit card to establish good credit. As others have pointed out, sometimes getting into another bracket or other threshold may affect other benefits such as food stamps and other government slash non-governmental assistance. Mileage may vary. I was specifically talking about taxes. People at my work make it sound like working overtime makes your paycheck smaller than it would be without. Not a single time has this actually happened. So when I was 24, I was financially struggling. I had a job that worked me a lot of hours, but only paid me $10 an hour. My parents talked me into buying a brand new 2004 four-door Honda Civic. The pre-interest price tag on it was about $25,000. A few weeks after getting it, my hours got regulated, and it took one entire paycheck to make the monthly note on it, I could not afford the insurance on it. I very quickly realized my parents were bad at money. Don't go to community college, you'll never get a job. Instead apply at X and X colleges. My grandmother, aunt, uncle, and cousin all told me this, and I really considered their advice, because my parents really didn't give a shut what I did. Since I didn't get any scholarships from high school, I decided at least, if I went to CC and didn't get a job I wouldn't have student debt, and I could just do something else. I went to CC for 2 years totally free on FAFSA grants, it was $800 a semester lol, and did so well I transferred to a university with a, almost, full ride. I'm now a semester away from graduation with a job, lined up and all of 4k of student debt which is likely to be forgiven anyway. Hold on to those french francs, they will be worth a lot someday. I'm not holding my breath. Well they probably will be eventually. In about 1000 years they may sell for something good at auction if well preserved. You'll be quids in. I totally misread this and spent the past 60 seconds figuring out how french fries could conceivably be a good investment. My father-in-law, when I mention our retirement plan, I never contribute to my retirement account. Money now is always better than money later. I needed to have a conversation with my husband, how we would not be supporting his mom and dad in their insane spending, when they have no retirement plan and make huge financial mistakes on a weekly basis. Good news is they both make good money. When my mom said that she will hold my money for me as a kid, my grandfather was pretty wealthy and gave us $50 to $100 each birthday. My mom kept it safe for us. I'm pretty sure she used it at least once to pay the light bill when the power got shut off so at least it went to good use. Never saw a dime of it myself. Don't invest in a 401k. Luckily, I didn't listen. Yup, my husband was told not to because his job doesn't match, but 15 years later it's over 80k, so I don't call that a bad choice at all. Just get it at rent a center. I had a Kaoka that got pretty much everything there. It's only $20 per week, and they'll replace it if it breaks. $20 per week for how long? Oh cool, so you're paying more than double for it? Got it. Join my MLM and make lots money. Eh no. Put it all on black. 
Only bad advice half the time. Know what's better than winning money on roulette. Doubling down and winning even more. Me to me. Yeah even if they've recently robbed you, you should still lend them the $500 they need to move to another city. They're your family after all. Dad. I don't even know how mom married your dumbass. Get a bigger mortgage, you can deduct more from your taxes. Yeah dumbass, and I'll be spending double that amount in interest so why should I? Incite me to go to a real expensive restaurant, where you can spend easily $250 without drinks at a time I only had $700 in bank account, and had not paid for my car, groceries, and stuff, because come on we only live once. I got $90 and my 11 year old son told me I should buy $90 worth of kazoos. No real plan past that. Probably among the better pieces of advice on this thread. Legit got told to don't buy food, it's a useless investment like the hell. Starve.